hi everyone my name is Bay Michelle. welcome back to my channel so last week i started on tips on how to become a calmer parent so i'm going to continue this week so stay tuned be right back number three is communicate the plan and the structure communicate it it shouldn't just be in our minds you know the bible says write the vision make it plain if you have if you need to put chats in the house if you have a visual learner if there's someone that needs to read it and be reminded remember that also i want to say that we should remember that our children are still growing yes we have plans we have structures we have reminders but understanding that they also need grace to grow you know not jumping on their every mistake i have a baby who is trying to walk now i'm excited when she falls down i don't jump on her and say oh, why did you fall down the same thing every day our children need our support as they are growing they will make mistakes we also make mistakes as adults and so we need to give them that grace in the developing on the plan in the creating of the structure understanding that they will fall down not start screaming or yelling or not allowing fear to take over because one of the other things the devil does is he literally hijacks our brain and makes us feel like oh because my child fell down it means that he's going to keep falling down or he's never going to be able to walk again no we shouldn't we should always stay with the truth with the truth it doesn't mean your child is going to keep falling down unless you decide that that's where you're going to make it right our, ch our children falling down just means they are still growing and we can then help them and encourage them and say oh no you can do it yes you can and i believe in you so number three point is communicate the plan communicate it and let everybody know and part of this is where discipline and correction comes into place um so i want to put it in line with the plan thing part of the plan that we need to have is a plan of the rules in the house and the consequences it's not everything that is about consequence but the major deal breakers decide on the consequence ahead of time it's not on the spot when you are upset that you now just start meeting things or you bring out your hand no decide ahead of time and communicate it to everyone so decide ahead of time create structures that will help your child do that thing communicate it and which leads me to number four follow through our number four point is follow through on the plan on your structure on what you've communicated i believe that one of the reasons why a lot of parents yell and it seems as if your child can't hear unless you yell that one is even a learned habit most times over time our children learn that when mommy says something the first time the second time nothing will happen the third time nothing will happen then when mommy shouts your child will jump up and we say oh my child doesn't know it's because we have taught them that way that we've taught them the way they should go anything can be taught again and again i did this also for a long time and when i started learning this number four points when i said follow through i realized that the problem was actually with me i wasn't following through on what i said i wasn't true to my word jesus said let your yes be yes and your no be no so for example maybe i say um this is the consequence for this my son will do it I won't say anything or i'll start threatening i'll start you know threats all those things they are not of god you know i still do it once in a while and i'm like god just help me but i try to hold myself back but all those things if our yes is yes and our no is no there will be no need you know i had to take the power back what happens when we start screaming is we've lost control our children are the ones controlling us they know that oh if i do this thing mom is going to respond this way dad is going to respond this way at that level they are now the ones controlling us take the control back by being a man and a woman of your word there's a difference between being aggressive and being assertive i had to learn to be assertive because i didn't learn it from i didn't learn it i didn't know what that meant you know all i knew was being aggressive scream so that a child will listen yell threaten that's being aggressive being assertive is saying this is what we do being empathic and following through and so if i say if you do this so now my son knows when we started this thing you know he, he was initially shocked that mommy is not yelling or mommy is not displaying i'll just look at him and then when it's time to miss the punishments you know or the consequence that we had decided because i told him if you do this this is going to happen so the first time now i want to say something about this is a process see when you start this thing your child is going to protest i'll be okay with them protesting it's okay as in 
when I initially, the first time I did this, he was shocked because he wasn't used to me following through on my word. He was put. I was like, I just, I was just calm, and I was like, remember what we said? No arguments. I just, you know. After a while, he started learning that when mommy says this, this is what it means. There's no need to fight. And I also had to deal with the mindset of I needed to do something now, 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 now. No. The fact that there's a consequence, let it speak for itself. Let me give an example. When Adam and Eve sinned, if God was like some of us, he would have jumped down from heaven instantly and say, ah, you ate the fruit. No, he didn't do that. <laughs> you know, that was his, you know, he had told them, if you eat this, you will die. There's no need to be forceful about it. And then he showed up later and he, and he was even still asking them questions. He was still like, where are you? Did you eat? Like, if it was some of us who have, you know, put down came from heaven and beating that. No, 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 no. There's no need because if, and over time, my son now has learned. And sometimes I remind him, you know, oh, do you remember the rules? I have, because I know that he's a child, he's growing. These are the rules. Remember the consequences. And when he chooses, I'm like, you chose it. It's your choice. You decided. I can't help. In fact, sometimes I sympathize with him. I'm like, oh, I know that feels really, you know, but remember we talked about this so it's a process this thing i'm saying i had to learn how to do it over months i'm still in the journey so i'm not saying it like someone who has gotten it perfect but i can tell you that it has made a difference it has really made a difference like not struggling not being out of control just following through and realizing that if i can keep to my word and if i can create structures it actually reduces a lot of past struggles there's no need to struggle no need at all you know so follow through like if god says this it happens you know i remember hearing the story of someone who told her son to dress up they were going for a birthday with the family and the boy just refused and she said if you don't dress up we're not going for the party and he said and he kept on for the next 30 minutes she gave him a timeline and he didn't and she and okay after 30 minutes they didn't go for the party so her husband and her other children went for the party and the boy cried and she stayed back to console him and she was like oh i'm so sorry you know but he didn't go she said that was the last time he ever tried that now another thing we do is that we decide we create consequences that we don't we cannot follow through or let me give you an example so let's say you go to the supermarket with your child and you tell your child if you do this we are going home but you know that you cannot go home because maybe what you went to buy is something very important you know so don't say things that's why we need to be slow to speak don't and have a plan ahead don't say things on the spot of the moment don't say things that you won't follow through on don't say things that you know is not possible like you won't eat again you know that that's abuse no we don't we don't say things that we know that are not feasible if you say we are leaving the supermarket now so this will help with supermarket tantrums if you say and and if you say oh if you do this we leave the supermarket be ready to leave the supermarket i know that it's going to be more work for you but trust me in the long term is it's it's actually see yeah, this thing i'm teaching you is not the quick because saying you are yelling or beating is a quick we think it's a quick method but it has long-term damages this thing I'm saying is the long route to it is a long journey. It's actually a long method because teaching is long. <laughs> it's a long method. But trust me, if you stick to it, in a short time, you'll see the changes. Because you wonder that why do some people just talk to their children and they listen? Because they know that, oh, this is... And not everything is consequences anyway, but I just share that example. You know, for some, sometimes maybe, oh, understanding what is going on. Oh, why is my child doing this? Let me give an example. Maybe your, a child is lying, you know, and then all we do is beat. Maybe there's something behind. I'm not giving excuses. Lying is not acceptable, but it's also important to deal with the roots. The roots, what is causing the, you know, is there a fear somewhere? Is there a fear somewhere that we need to deal with? Is there something happening? You know, things like that. So that's my number four. Thank you guys for showing up this week. I'll see you next time. If you learned anything, please put your comments in the section. Sorry, in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't. Like and please share to others.
see you next time bye